what is up YouTube welcome to today's video and today we are going to go over something that I should have probably clicked a long time ago which is the trade for these items now in path of building now if you've never used path of building before this is a invaluable tool in terms of finding upgrades as long as you know how to configure it and as long as you are looking for the right item slots now what this tool does is it makes a weighted sum it helps you find your best items for that slot it lets you add in different modifiers so you can customize it so you can find your perfect item for the perfect price now before we start i'm going to show you a little bit of a clip about how i use this item to find my perfect quiver while i was kind of just showcasing how this would work on stream that's six rage regen per second oh yeah have you guys seen this thing this is awesome look at this so you can go here you can go search for upgrades or some shit and then you just find best and all you have to do is you click this link like quiver is usually the one that's the best to like look for it oh shit whoops and then like you go here and then you just get rid of some shit that you don't want because usually it's like full on garbage and then you type in maximum life So maximum life, you just put like 80, an additional arrow since this stupid thing doesn't uh, account for it. So then here, that's all you do. And then you have a sum, right? And these are all be all the best. So you can sort it by which is going to be the best for your build. So you can say this thing is insane. And it's only 24 divines, right? You want to find the best upgrade possible. You can go here. Like you can only spend five divines, like five divine max. And then you can just sort it by sum and then, wow. Damn, this is actually it. Do I should have bought this thing? Now, hopefully, that showed you a little bit about how powerful this tool is. Now, we're going to de delve a little bit deeper into how this tool actually works. So, I decided to finally click this item in Path of Building. And in order to find where this item is, it's actually right here. It's kind of innocuous looking, and you never really realize it. And this did come out, I think, roughly two leagues ago at the very, very end. So, I never was. I never got to try it out because I wasn't playing PoE back then. I think I was playing WoW or something. So I used this tool myself to find quivers and jewels. And it's really, really good for trying to look for corrupted blood jewels. And without having to put down a billion mods. And it will kind of calculate exactly how good each item will be for you. So you pretty much click right here. And then there's a bunch of different stuff that you can choose from. And we're going to go over exactly what you can do to find the magic and this is the quiver that i was able to find so it has 90 life cold res a little bit of t1 fire damage crit multi and then some bow damage with skills now this tool helps you find the most cost effective upgrade it generates mod weights and creates a weighted sum so what that means is when we look at the search parameter over here so we can go look at this thing right here and i did bring up a lot of different examples about how to use this for all the items for bows. I assume that most of the people here are playing bows. So you see right here, there's a bunch of different search parameters or modifiers. So what this does is it adds it all up and tries to find the highest weighted sum of each item. So at the top, and this is how they do it, these are the item, these are the modifiers that will add the most to the item on average. So for bows, it doesn't really work as well. So we're going to go look at some quivers. The quivers, you can see percent damage with bow skills at the very top. Crit multi with bows. And those are what we would expect would add the most damage to a quiver. And what you do is when you press search, you'll see that there's a bunch of different stuff that pops up. And then there's a sum right here. So when you sort it by the sum, this theoretically should be the highest DPS gain for your build. And this is going to be... A very very important thing because we look at this quiver right here it doesn't have any sort of life and it does have resist but how can we actually find out a quiver that's going to be good for our defenses and it also doesn't have any additional arrows so what we have to do is we have to edit the search in order to generate the best result so first of all what items can this be used for now this cannot be used for dps based weapons as the trade API does not give any weight to a weapon's DPS against stats. So what this means is that you actually cannot create a weighted sum for a weapon. So what I actually did try doing the weapon, and for the weapon over here, 
and when you actually import the weapon, you will see when you sort it by the highest weighted sum, for some reason it has like physical damage on it, and it doesn't take into account the lightning damage and cold damage. And part of the reason why is it puts a fire damage with bow attacks, and this should be local fire damage, and it also doesn't have an attack speed of local attack speed modifier. So this does not work well with attack-based weapons. So if you're trying to use this with a claw or a bow, it's not going to be good, especially if you're doing like Venom Gyre or Lightning Arrow or Tornado Shot. However, this is extremely, extremely good to find the perfect quiver. It's also decent for caster weapons, and it's also good for jewels, and also really good for jewelry, so like rings. And you can also even use it for gloves, which does have some DPS stats on it. So you have to be very selective about which items you're going to use. Now jewels are one of the biggest things that I do think that this tool will be good for because jewels are oftentimes a huge DPS increase. However, they come with so many different mods. If you go on Craft of Exile, you'll see that there's hundreds of mods on jewels and that's really, really overwhelming to make the best upgrade or get the best upgrade. So before the leak start, I was actually, before I actually discovered this tool, I was doing these searches where I was actually just manually typing in a bunch of random stuff. So I would like be like, oh, these are pretty good mods for the jewel. So attack speed with bows, global crit multi, yada yada. And then I would have to spend all this time making these custom searches. And this doesn't even have the weighted sum. So the weighted sum takes into account your character. And we're going to go over exactly what this actually means. So... This tool is only going to be as good as your pop config, so you kind of need to learn how to set up your pop correctly. And what we're going to be using is full DPS. And what full DPS means on pop is you'll see this thing right here, is it calculates all the different aspects of your build. So in order to do this correctly, generally you could include artillery ballista. So artillery ballista, if you want to include it in, you can put it included in full DPS right here. Lightning arrow, you want to be included in full DPS. You want to change the count to how many times you think one cast of lightning arrow will hit. And with Vengeance Cascade, it's going to be two. And I generally leave out stuff like Frenzy or like, because it's such a small effect. But Artillery Ballista, technically you should be increasing the count of it because you have three totems or whatever. Or yeah, four totems. Three to the maximum number of some Ballista totems. And then you also have the overlapping nature of Artillery Ballista. But for this case, we're just going to put it at 3. Now, in terms of the config, you want to make sure that your config is set up correctly. So you need to be honest with yourself. How good is your config actually going to be? And for Far Shot, you should probably put like 100 or 70 projectile distance. Shock, you need to think, oh, am I actually shocking the boss for 50 or am I doing like 25? Resonance, make sure to type in 50 for Trinity or your damage is going to be a lot lower. And we should always be generating power and Frenzy charges because we have the Frenzy Mana Forge with Power Charge on crit. And then we have uh, Gale Force. If you don't have Gale Force, you have to make it at 10. Then you have to make sure you have Onslaught, but we should have Onslaught. And Alchemist Genius is this medium cluster we have. Rage, you need to be thinking, do I have 50 Rage actually at all times? So you can average it out to 25. And are you leeching should usually be checked. So once you have all of this set up, you have your pop config. Now this is going to be different for every single build. If you're a dot build or you're some caster build, you have to figure out for yourself what exactly the best config setting is and make sure that full DPS is correct. Especially when you're doing a build like cold dot with a lot of different sources of damage. So once you have all of that set up, you want to go to the path of building. You want to click on trade for these items. It's in the item section. Now, you'll see a bunch of different stuff pop up, and you want to click to find the best slot in question, and you could also adjust the search weight. So you want to go here, and usually it has an effective HP pool. I don't really care for the effective HP pool because I don't really think that's going to be that accurate. So I set that to zero, and then I fetch one page, so I think the search will be faster. So in this case, I'm going to try to do the belt. So what you do is you find the best belt. You can get rid of corrupted mods, if there's going to be too many of them to count for, you could also choose influence if you really want to. You could set a max price so it doesn't find a billion items that's out of your price range. So for this case, I could do like five divine orbs or like chaos orb equivalent, like 1000 chaos orb equivalent. And then you press execute and it's going to calculate these mod weights. And it could take a while depending on your search. Now, if you do uh, right here, 
So now we have to search. We can control click and let's see what we have here. So we control click and we're going to see all these random items pop up. Now, some of these items are not going to be exactly the best. And that is where we need to edit our search in order to find the best way of finding the item that's going to be the right one for us. Because you can see some of these items don't even have any life on it. So now we have all these items and we're wondering how exactly do we edit the item search in order to find what we want. So let's go look at the belt. And a belt is a little bit of an interesting example because you can see right here, there's not really that many stats that affect the belt. So what we want to do is we want to go to Anne. And what this does is Anne adds. So this will allow you to add mods to the belt that you will have to have on the item in order for it to show up. So a lot of people want life on the belt. Say you want 90 life on the belt and no matter what you still, you're still missing some resist, right? You're missing like 40% lightning res. So what you could do is you could do resistance and then total resistance or cold res or lightning res. So let's go to lightning resist and just keep in mind, you can actually switch around the resistances with harvest. So this is not going to be like the best example ever. So after you have that selected, you'll go search and you'll see that Wow, there's only one item up for five divines and that's going to be about right. And this item will be on average the best upgrade for you. However, there are things that you won't be able to take into account, especially for belts. You have like flash charges gained or flash duration as in this case, but this will be the best belt. And of course, it's going to be an influence spell because influence has like some extra damage mods that you normally wouldn't be able to get like 32% damage with hits against chilled enemies. And you can also see how good the belt potentially could be. Like right there is where you can edit how much your max price is right here. And for this case, you can see at the very, very high end, if you sort it by the highest sum, this belt will actually be the best because it has the highest of both values. Now, I actually wonder, so Abyss Socket does not actually count for anything. So next up, we could try a little bit of a few different examples for different items that a bow character will use. Now the trade search will come with the maximum amount of mods for the quarry. So you'll see a bunch of different mods and sometimes there will be too many mods. So we can't add these uh, additional modifiers that we want to guarantee on the item. So what we can do is we can remove the least important mods. So the way that this works is I think that it does sort the mods by the ones that are most likely to add the most damage to your build. So if we go look at the quiver, you can see right here, gains fizzes, extra cold and lightning is going to be the less the least amount for our build because we don't actually have any fizz damage on a quiver. So when we want to edit the quiver command, we get rid of those two. So we have additional slots. So right here for a quiver, you always want to have some maximum life unless you want to be a ZHP person. So you can set this to 80 or 90. An additional arrow does not get calculated well because there's no way for POV to calculate additional arrows for shotgunning. So we have to input this mod manually. So when we have that, we can search it and then we're going to get a lot better results. So right here, you'll see there's a lot of different results, 94. And you can sort it by weighted sum. So this is going to be the best quiver for your build in terms of damage for my setup. So let's say these are too expensive. So you want to go to Chaos Orb Equivalent or Divine Orb. And then say you already have 10 Divines to spend. You sort it by this and you sort it by weighted sum. And that's going to be your highest DPS upgrade right here. So you buy it, eight divides, and then you're going to have a great time. And this is going to be a huge DPS upgrade for your build. Now, let's say we want to look for a jewel. Now, jewels are pretty complicated. There's a lot of different mods and a lot of people want life on it. Now, you always want to have maximum life. So let's go maximum life, percent increase maximum life, right? And then so right here, you can see there's a bunch of different stats right here. And they all have maximum life on it. And what you want to do is you see there's a lot of items. You want to sort it by the highest sum and this is going to be the best item. And this is exactly going to be the case because my build currently does not have that much crit multi. You'll see I only have 449%. So this is why crit multi is such a huge thing. So you can see all these jewels are crit multi or triple multi or double multi and uh, percent damage with two-handed weapons. Now we can also edit this again. We can see, oh, these... Jewels are kind of expensive, four divines maybe. We can see what it is, sort it by that, and then this is going to be the best one. Crit multi, double damage with percent life. Now, one other thing that I found this really useful for was I was trying to find corrupted blood jewels. But corrupted blood jewels 
it's kind of hard to know what are the best stats on it. So you can just do it like this. Corrupted Blood. Look for the highest damage Corrupted Blood Jewel. And this one is around like 4 Divine. So it's triple damage. And these are triple damage. And this is how you actually can find the best jewel for yourself. Even when you're trying to look for CB or something. And it's super, super useful for jewels. And the same thing goes for rings. Say you pull up a ring. And right here, let's go look. Did I even have a ring slot anymore? Right, let's go here. Trade for these items again. And then we're going to copy and paste this URL. You can also control click it. So we can do it right here. You can see rings again. Rings are something that are huge DPS upgrade for a lot of builds. So you want to go to do an and the maximum life and like set it like 70 or something like that. You can also set a little bit of resist. Say you need some chaos resistance. You can do pseudo chaos resistance like 30 maybe. And then you can see exactly what's going to pop up. And there's no rings that pop up or... Oh wait, we, maybe we need to do it like this. So it seems like there's not many rings with the weighted sums that we want. And you can see the same story appears here. Lightning damage to attacks is not, or flat damage is not really as big as crit multi and percent elemental damage of attacks. And the reason behind this is when we play a bow build, we already have so much flat damage from our bow that, uh, that this amount of little bit of flat damage will scale it a lot less than a percent increased elemental damage of attacks. And that is very, very useful. And the best thing about this is if you have bad hit chance, for instance, like say my build had like 95% hit chance, the weighted mods will tell you that accuracy will be a much higher stat on there. And you will be able to fix your accuracy chance without even knowing that you had an accuracy problem. And this tool is really as good as you configure it to be. But like I said, it is the best for jewelry, jewels, your quiver, and... Those are the main slots that I would actually use it for. Now, this does make finding upgrades an easy task. It does make it so that you can find the right upgrade for your right price. However, you do have to understand how to set up POB correctly for your build. So make sure you consult your build guide or just look through it and ask yourself honestly, what exactly is in my full DPS? Now, calculating the mod weights could take a very, very long time. For instance, if you try to go trade for these items and you try to find a jewel, and you want to find the best right here, and you include corrupted mods, it's going to take a lot longer. And especially for some items, I know the jewel search actually took me like five minutes or something. So you could be waiting for a while. Now this kind of reminds me of raid bots in WoW. However, this tool still relies on you having a brain to have the perfect search. So make sure you type in the right config and you add in the right mods that you want and make sure you could use this for other pieces of gear. I think I did have a gloves trade link, for instance. So it's like, make sure if you have the gloves. Let's see if there's gloves right here. So search. It's like gloves. A lot of people want spell suppression on it. So make sure you actually input the right mods. And wow, there's a lot of glove implicit. So maybe you go maximum life or and, and then make sure you have spell suppressed that you really, really want. And that's just... The way that you get the best mod is definitely to input the defensive stats manually and not rely on them to do it for you. And here you can find a bunch of different things that actually help out your build. So overall, I hope everyone uses this tool and they don't have as many questions about what is the best upgrade for me for the price because Path of Building can actually answer all of that for you, especially in the case of jewels. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more mirrors, divines, and mage bloods than me. And see you next time. Bye. Dad.